Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about different testing of uh, current transformer uh, done at uh, substation before commissioning of the city. Uh, first, uh, visual inspection is done. Uh, first, uh, the connection of the P1 and P2 in the primary side is checked properly. That is, P1 shall be always connected in the bus side uh, and P2 shall be connected towards the line side or for transformer city it is uh, connected towards the transformer side and then uh, the tightness of the jumper shall be checked uh, properly then uh, details of the nameplate uh, of the city shall be uh, studied properly and uh, from the nameplate details uh, which city ratio uh, is uh, required for secondary connection that is uh, if 1800 uh, and uh, 400 by 1 city ratio is available then and then there will be four terminal uh, available in the secondary side that is s1 s2 s3 and s4 for example we require 400 by 1 city ratio then the connection in the secondary side shall be in between s1 and s2 terminal next uh, measurement of the city secondary resistance and then we shall uh, measure the city secondary resistance uh, between the secondary terminal available from the secondary uh, junction box and it shall be uh, compared with the resistance uh, given in the nameplate of the city uh, then insulation resistance test of the city uh, before going through this uh, uh, IR test uh, the all the secondary connection are disconnected from the city secondary box or from the CTJB. Then uh, first uh, IR test is done between HV to earth or primary to earth. It is done by 5 kb or above uh, mega and the result uh, is uh, recorded and then uh, between LV to earth. LV to earth means uh, secondary to earth. Uh, it is done by 500 volt uh, IR tester and then between primary and secondary side it is also done by 500 volt mega so uh, this insulation resistance test uh, result has, uh, shall be recorded and um, checked whether result is uh, uh, proper or not and then uh, if the tan delta uh, point is available in the city normally 33 kb or below rated uh, city tan delta point is not available so for 33 kb and below uh, voltage uh, rated um, city tan delta test is not required for uh, 66 kb and above uh, normally tan delta point is available for city so tan delta test is done before commissioning of the city here the sage lead connected uh, at uh, primary side and lv lead connected in the tan delta point and tan delta test is carried out at different voltage level that is 2.5 kb 5 kb and 10 kb and the result is recorded and checked with whether the tan delta measured tan delta is within uh, 0.5 percent limit or not tan delta test is carried out to measure the resistive current flows through the insulator body lower the resistive current means better the insulation is here tan delta is defined by the ratio of the uh, resistive current by capacitive current you can go through the uh, tan delta test uh, of the transformer as mentioned in the description box for detailed knowledge about the tan delta test next uh, the saturation test or excitation test is carried out uh, in the city saturation testing for a current transformer identifies uh, the rated uh, knee point voltage uh, against uh, IEEE or IEC standards the point at which the transformer uh, is no longer able to output current in proportion to its uh, specified ratio that is uh, at knee point voltage uh, the primary uh, the primary current will increase but uh, there will be no increase in the secondary current that means uh, during the fault condition if the uh, fault current is uh, value of the fault current is such that uh, the knee point voltage is achieved in the secondary side then there will be no reflection of this fault current in the secondary side uh, excitation test or knee point voltage test is uh, done for protection class or ps class city it is not done for metering core of the city 
uh, it is done uh, by means of uh, uh, variable voltage source uh, it is connected uh, in the secondary side of the protection um, core of the CT that is uh, in the protection core if four terminal are uh, mentioned in the CT nameplate that is S1, S2, S3, S4 then for S1 and S2 for uh, first uh, the voltage source is given and voltage is gradually increased uh, and increase up to the knee point voltage as mentioned in the nameplate, uh, nameplate. and the current flow in the uh, circuit is measured by AC clamp on meter and the voltage across the two terminal is recorded by means of multimeter or voltmeter for example if the um, uh, knee point voltage is 400 volt uh, the, then voltage is uh, increased in step of 40 volt and the current uh, flows in the city circuit is recorded this current is nothing but the magnetizing current test uh, now at knee point voltage if 10% uh, voltage is increased that is if knee point voltage is 400 volt and the magnetizing currents at knee point voltage comes as 3, 30 milliampere then uh, at uh, uh, 400 volt if 10 percent voltage increase that is at uh, four, 440 volt the there will be 50 percent increase of the magnetizing current that is 15 milliampere current will increase that is the magnetizing current comes as 45 milliampere at uh, 440 volt so it is the definition of the knee point voltage uh, so we can conclude that at knee point voltage the city is saturated um, then uh, a very important test that is polarity test of CT uh, so uh, for polarity test of the CT in the primary side a 9 volt battery is connected uh, P1 is connected uh, by means of a switch uh, uh, to the positive terminal of the battery and P2 is connected uh, to the negative terminal of the battery and a galvanometer is connected in the secondary side of the CT where the S1 terminal is connected the positive terminal of the galvanometer and S2 terminal is connected uh, to the negative terminal of the galvanometer when a positive kick is given by means of switch then there will be a, a positive deflection in the secondary side of the CT in galvanometer and when this switch is uh, put off then there will be a negative deflection in the um, galvanometer uh, by this uh, we can conclude that uh, the uh, polarity of the city is connected properly then at the last uh, the ratio test of the city is done uh, it is done by means of uh, a variable current source uh, the current source is connected between P1 and P2 terminal of the city and in the secondary side uh, the meter or relay connected in the secondary side uh, the ratio is checked it is also checked by means of AC clamp on meter for example if the CT ratio is 400 by 1 uh, uh, to check the whether the CT ratio is proper or not uh, in the primary side uh, the current is gradually increased up to 200 uh, ampere uh, based on the capacity of the current source and if, if it is ratio is 400 by 1 then uh, at uh, CT ratio uh, 40 by 1 uh, there shall be the current in the secondary side uh, 100 milliampere uh, in the meter or uh, relay or by means of uh, clamp on meter re uh, reading if 80 ampere current is flowing in the primary side and then 200 uh, milliampere current shall flow in the secondary side by means of uh, this uh, CT ratio test uh, we test the the ratio is proper or not so thank you for watching this video you can go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you.